everything that I do is, is faith-based. So I believe in God and I believe in the devil. Chasing bad guys is near and dear to my heart because it's out taking the chaos out of life. Law enforcement is kind of like the hem in the fabric, if you would, that keeps society getting torn apart. Evil is, in fact, chaos. So being a U.S. Marshal, to me, was more of a calling. So when you get out and you chase sex offenders, you know, rapists, murderers, at the end of the day, it's incredibly rewarding to get those people off the street. We were the oldest federal law enforcement agency, and we're designed to be like the sheriff's office, if you would, for the federal government. Marshals make more arrests than all of the other federal agencies combined. Over 100,000 typically a year. That's a lot of arrest. 90% of those folks are not bad people. Bad decisions, poor decision making. And quite often, they compound that with other bad decisions. But you have a percentage of people who are just evil. They're filled with the wrong spirit, heartless, cruel predators, and they prey on people. Our society was built on freedoms of the people, freedom of individual. And the government should be small, but it should be large enough to take care of the security of the people. And there are segments of society that are at war with that, and they want to destroy that. I've been to several things, several incidents around the, the United States where chaos has reigned down in the Atlanta prison riots. Down in the Los Angeles riots. Law enforcement is in the fight of their life. The war on police is, is just getting out of hand. We need to fight that fight and take back the narrative. Well, you know, the rule of law is important in our lives because it gives us stability. It keeps chaos at bay. I think I was good at it because how it impacts me daily is to look at people, everybody you come in contact with, with empathy, to say, hey, you know what? That could have been me.